Assalamu alaikum. I am the medical student in our team. Um, those two and uh, Mr. Shahan are ER physicians and these are ER nurses. And um, the problem as we see it is that in the emergency, the environment has extreme time constraints, increased workload, instrument issues, and patient privacy issues, and getting a good ECG is a blessing. ECG uh, taking in itself has a lot of problems depending on the patient. Uh, the patient may be obese, they may be sweating profusely, they may have a lot of chest hairs which makes it hard to attach electrodes. Orthopnea, restlessness, and agitation um, make it hard for the patient to lie down. And the gowns that we wear in the ER, um, they, um, they're not exactly the perfect garment in any situation. So. Um, the wiring of the ECG is extremely complex. It requires a lot of expertise to get right. So the solution is the jacket. It's um, a product with two parts. One of them is the jacket itself. It's a gown with the flap uh, made of Velcro that can be used to bear access to the chest area. Um, we are demonstrating on a prototype. And the second part is um, the patch. The patch is uh, customizable. This is what it looks like from the outside. On the underside, you can have any of um, any number of modules, an ECG array, a defibrillator array. It can even be other things like um, external defibrillators, um, pacemakers, or even echocardiograms. Um, so our product features, um, especially for the ECG part, washable circuits and leads in the patch. It can be used as a hospital dress. The filters are incorporated into the patch, and um, the functionality is expandable with any patch you care to design. So the health impact is based on some factors. It's easy to wear, cost and time effective. Good quality ECGs are possible because it hugs the frame of the patient, um, cutting vibrations and reducing garbage. Sterilization is easy. All you have to do is take the patch off, dip it in clean and fluid, and it's ready to go again. It's staff friendly and patient privacy is addressed. So um, when you compare uh, the two modes, uh, you'll see that um, our product is slightly more costly. But um, the total cost of three ECG machines here um, is extremely high because of the extraneous equipment. Our product will be giving you twice the amount of machines in a comparable uh, price. And um, we save a lot of money on maintenance. So uh, innovations always encounter something called the value of doubt, and our um, pressures would be funding, manufacturing, sustainability, and marketing. So we will encounter, we will get our funding from the textile industry because um, the jacket itself doesn't cost much. It can be mass produced and given in place of hospital gowns. Stitching and patch designing will be local. Our product is unique, scalable, efficient, and effective, and thus very sustainable. And revenue generation is pretty easy considering that one ECG costs 800 rupees and any time we save, getting quicker ECGs can be translated into money. So patient and staff morale is ensured, there's minimal interference with patient and um, we get uh, very accurate ECGs out of it as well. Thank you. can be used everywhere. Um, the dress in itself, it's a uh, fairly um, standard hospital gown. And um, the patches, whenever you want cardiac monitoring, you just attach a patch, take your reading, and resume otherwise. How accurate do you think your read? Yeah, yes? How accurate would it be? Uh, very accurate. Um, definitely more reliable and accurate than uh, Yes, um, there are current existing modes of this. Um, some uh, form-fitting shirts have been made which use Textronics for the electrode placement. Um, the problem with those were that they were extremely, they were not cost-effective at all, that um, the shirt, um, the integration was very seamless. It was more a fashion product. And this is, we have scaled it down to be more comprehensive and practical. So it's basically trapping the mechanical uh, uh, energy your heart is producing. Basically, it no, is no. electrical energy. energy. So basically, it is the electrical energy that are the right. equipment is happening. And uh, the mechanics of your body doesn't affect the reading? Um, uh, normally, uh, electrodes would be easy to displace, and vibrations do affect the readings. However, um, the suit is designed so that it stays there, and it's relative to the patient's position. Uh, the leads are not moving, <laughs> no matter how agitated the patient may be.